So Deborah, have you got the one last bit of advice for Chinese students? Um, yes, um, I think that's, I would say this to any international student and also to home students actually, but we're talking now about Chinese students and my biggest piece of advice is challenge yourself. You have this once in a lifetime opportunity of living in a new country, of mixing with people of different religious beliefs, different political beliefs, different cultural backgrounds. You have a chance to build a global network. You have a chance to learn so much about the world and about yourself. It isn't easy to make friends with British students, to make friends with students from other nationalities is hard. And I think it's especially hard for Chinese students for two reasons. One reason is that the Chinese community here is very large and everything you need, you can find within the Chinese community. Fantastic Chinese restaurants, fantastic Chinese shops, even hairdressers, nice. um, big community. You know, you, you could manage with never speaking English, but that would be such a mistake. Um, but it's easy because it's comfortable. To step outside that is less comfortable and it can be hard work. Um, I'm, I'm sure you'd agree, it's harder work talking to British students than Chinese students. It's not because they're British, not because you're Chinese, but just because it's always hard to mix with other nationalities. But it's such a great opportunity. And I think my, my biggest advice is challenge yourself. Don't just challenge yourself academically. Challenge yourself socially and culturally. Do some things that are completely new. Look at the... Um, Look at the Give It A Go programme that the Students' Union has and don't only go with three or four Chinese friends. Maybe go on your own, make, make a new friend from another country. In your class, maybe ask, maybe talk to somebody else who's not Chinese after the class. Um, just to ask them, did you understand this or what do you think about that lecture? Um, I think the saddest thing that I sometimes hear from students, Chinese students, is I wish I had made more effort to meet people from other countries or I wish I'd worked harder on my English so I could make friends from other countries and from Britain um, and I think just imagine in 10 years time 20 years time when I hope you'll all be very successful and very prosperous and so on but wouldn't it be sad to look back in 10 or 20 years time and think I could have got so much more out of my time at university I wish I'd done it try and do it now work hard don't give up the first time it doesn't work don't give up keep trying try going to something once a week that's got nothing to do with the chinese community where you're going to be outside your comfort zone but the i think the best advice i heard was from another not chinese another international student who said you have to keep dipping your toe in the water mm -hmm. it's like you know it's when you go to some cold water mm -hmm. you have to keep dipping your toe and it's not comfortable but if you're brave and you keep dipping, then finally you can stand in the water. And if you're lucky and if you're very brave and you keep trying very hard, then soon you'll be swimming along with the river. So I think that's the best advice. Keep dipping your toe until you get more confidence. Thank you very much for your time today, Deborah. Thank you. You're very welcome.